probably clicked on this video because you're thinking, what could Des Moines offer me? If I moved to Des Moines, if I lived in Des Moines, what good could come from it? What kind of place is Des Moines to live? And in this video, that's all we're gonna talk about is the accolades that other media industries, media experts have given to Des Moines. And that is comparing across the United States. So you remember Des Moines is competing with some pretty hard hitting, high flying large cities. And they're still winning these rankings. Let's dig in. My name is Darson Grantham. I'm a real estate agent and investor here in Des Moines, Iowa. What is Des Moines? How many, what awards are they winning? What kind of people live here? And so we've compiled 17 different rankings and we're gonna go over and I'm gonna give my opinion on what those rankings mean and who and how Des Moines is represented in those rankings. So let's go. In Forbes 2019 edition, they ranked Des Moines number 10 in business and career for the Des Moines Metro against other cities, right? My opinion on this is they're absolutely spot on. We have heavy industry in insurance, in banking, in financial services, which is also banking. We have headquarters of Principal Financial Group, Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, EMC Insurance, Ruan Trucking, Transportation. So those are just the name a few of the headquarters that are here in Des Moines, Iowa. Not to mention some banking facilities you have your Wells Fargo Bank has a large presence in Des Moines, Iowa area. And also Meredith Corp, which is a publishing firm, has a huge presence of business in the Des Moines, Iowa area. And last not least of that kind of why business and career, why would Des Moines be ranked number 10th is the Iowa caucus. Most of you that are not from Iowa don't really uh, think hard on this, but politics, uh, Iowa plays a big role in this. And in the politics, the Iowa caucus has a mainstay in Iowa, at least for the time being, and provides a lot of business to the state of Iowa. So the United, the, the caucus system, Iowa is uh, very heavily represented. Number two on the list is Des Moines was ranked number one in the Midwest for high salaries, low cost of living, that ratio. And again, I agree completely based on what I've talked with of other folks around the Midwest, the salaries in Des Moines versus what you're paying for a cost of living, absolutely the ratio is very high in Des Moines. The cost of living is 11.6% lower than the, the median in the United States. The median income is 3.6% higher than the national average. At the time that they won this award, Des Moines unemployment rate was two points lower than the national average. So to sum that up, I think that that based on being number one in the Midwest, which again is not a nationwide poll, but number one in the Midwest, I think that that's spot on. I would agree completely. Number three on our list is the sports edition, 2017. Des Moines ranked number five in the best minor sports teams. So we do have the Iowa Wild, we have the Iowa Cubs, and we have the Iowa Wolves basketball. All very effective, very fun games and entertaining teams to watch. So, although we don't have the professional, we don't have the Cubs, we have their minor team, the Iowa Cubs. We have a, a lot of options for that sports. And some people would say a lot, some people would say, yeah, not enough. I'll leave that up to you. Number four on our list, it was from Forbes in 2021, so very recent. Des Moines ranked number 11 for most affordable place to live. Median listing prices below 200,000, very common. And although median list price, median sale price is a, something to pay attention to, you also have to compare what that looks like versus the size of the house. And so in Des Moines, for that price point, you're, you can get a fairly big house, over 1,200 square foot, depending on what side of the metro that you're buying in. Median house price, yes, it's under, it's eh, it's probably not under 200 anymore, but is hovering right around there, and it's going to give you a much bigger house than some areas of the country. Six on the list, we have, and I've never heard of this publication, but it's the Go Banking Rates 2019. And what this one is, is we ranked number eight in the best work-life balance. 
And given what I know about Iowans and being one, that makes a lot of sense. We do work hard, but we also want to uh, say we. It seems like the culture in Iowa is less hustle and bustle, less, you know, all about my career, all about the professional. And you're able to kind of slow down, take a step back, and really spend the time, spend what time you want doing the things that you want to do. In 2018, the next on the list is, I believe it's number seven on the list, is from trip.com in 2018. And it is the best mid-sized artistic company. And that isn't the best, it is for top 10. I don't think we saw a rank on this one, but being in the top 10 for mid-sized city artistic, I think that that's spot on. I'm continually surprised with how the art scene is looking in Des Moines Metro, whether it's in the suburbs, which is a little bit more new and, and not as common that you're seeing the art scene out there, or you're looking downtown. The art scene is just growing and growing and growing. And number nine is the hotspot for data science jobs. And that is a ranking, a uh, number seven ranking in 2009 Burning Glass Edition. So for what it's worth, not a you know gigantic publication, but the fact that Des Moines ranked number seven data science jobs like that is that is a huge i feel like a leading indicator of where the job industry and the business is going in the des moines area because data science if those of you that don't know they're the they're the ones behind the scenes nitty-gritty taking apart the data and telling a story with that data and when you're hiring those folks you're working for companies that are doing things with big data with doing big things in technology so the fact that we're high on that it's a that's a plus i believe this is 10 on the list and it is number one for millennials to live that was in 2019 i remember when that came out because that was a huge huge deal that was in the grow publication I, I remember being just blasted all over in 2019 i was not in the real estate industry i didn't really pay attention to the economy of des moines as as it pertained to my business but i worked for a tech company who when they saw that that was something they highly promoted to get employees to come work for their company in Des Moines or in the Des Moines area. So I, th I saw that, I remember that specifically, it made a huge impact on me. And I think a lot of companies took that and they sh just shouted it all over that number one place ranked by Grow in 2019 for millennials to live, like, that's huge. They won that or I Des Moines won that. Really, it's I mean, it's plain and simple. It, it goes back to you have higher paying jobs and your cost of living is lower. That is plain and simple. The brass tax economy behind the scenes. That is that makes that is why that award was given out. Number eleven is we are ranked number seven in the best cities for living the American dream. Can you tell me like the rest of the awards that we've won? It's just leading into these type of awards. They are looking at criteria like you know what's your wage versus cost of living versus housing versus renting. All of that comes into play. And when you win one of these awards and your criteria meet one, it really snowballs into others. So this is just another one that ranked on number seventh on the list. And that is by actually by Smart Asset. I didn't say that in 2019. So that's number seventh, Des Moines ranked number seventh on the list in 2019 for Smart Asset of best city for living the American dream. This is a big one in 2021. So very recent US news ranked Des Moines number five best affordable places to live in the United States. Again, can I repeat myself? High wages, low cost of living, great lifestyle. That is what is a, a, a perfect storm for this. And they provide a really cool stat to share for the, the market is people in Des Moines at that time spent 19.7% of their wage on housing, which is quite a bit lower than the national average. And that is a huge indicator of stability, financial stability, and a, a good economy to come in an area. Next on the list was in 2019, Cleaver ranked Des Moines number two, the best city for home buyers. And again, common things, common reasons are the low cost of living, high salary compared to the cost of living, median home price. Also, this one mentioned the the massive amounts of financial industry, first time job market person, or maybe career change person. So the next list is 2020 Site Selection Magazine, which is more of an engineering 
Architecture Development magazine ranked Des Moines number five for the number of economic developments in the area. And this is a different one. I really like this one. It does, again, it's the leading indicator for the lagging results. The lagging results are a good current economy. The leading indicator to a good future economy is a is, is are these things. Are you winning awards for development, design, producing in the economy? And I think this award wins that one. In 2019, best city for tech, we Des Moines ranked number six. And this one was based on number of tech jobs available and jobs filled. So that's a huge thing. Again, everybody hears about tech. This winning, this this award or this ranking award is a real hard indicator of are there actual jobs getting filled or are there just potential jobs? So that's what this one falls into. In 2019, Smart Asset ranked Des Moines at number four on best places to live with children. It says in the publication, it says Des Moines, Iowa in general is ranked 25th in the nation for population of children. And it's 21% of, of Iowa's population is children. So winning that award, again, shows where Des Moines ranks for people that are raising family and that it is a place that people are finding confidence in to raise their family. In 2021, Wallet Hub ranked Des Moines number eight in the, in the city's list of unemployment rates dropping. And that was in 2021. Gives you a good indication of how Iowa fared during the COVID economic situation. As someone who was, was here, I was very happy with how the economy responded to the shutdown in the industry, change of rules, people reactions. Number five, best places to live in the US by US News. That's pretty generic and I don't mind that because what it does is it puts Des Moines in the genre of some of the big name, big growth cities. Take it for what it's worth. That's a very general, big survey, big results. Number five, best places to live. My last ranking, last statistic is Des Moines is ranked number two safest place in the country per murder rate, per crime, per capita. And that was a US News 2021 ranking. That ranking doesn't get on all of the media. It doesn't get on all of the hype. But if you're considering a move to Des Moines or an area in Des Moines, in the metro, that ranking puts a lot of people at ease. I will walk my family, three kids under three, anywhere in Des Moines during the day at any time, and I won't blink an eye. Won't bother me, put them in a stroller, let's walk down the sidewalk. Doesn't bother me. There's other cities that don't say that, that I personally wouldn't feel comfortable with. You might be different though. You might not wanna walk through some of the neighborhoods. That's your call, depending on your past experience. Crime is all relative. Our research page tried to base it off data, Data goes a little ways, it's an indicator, but it's not, it doesn't you, it isn't exact. Keep that in mind. If you are liking any of the content on this channel, please reach out to us. If you're considering moving in Des Moines, watch some of our other videos. All we do is talk about what it's like to live, feel, be in Des Moines. Neighborhoods, restaurants, parks, sports, any art, anything that you can think of in Des Moines, we are going to or have done a video on it. So if you are interested, in learning more about Des Moines or more about moving to Des Moines, please shoot us an email below, give us a call below. We're happy to help, no obligation, here for you. Again, my name is Darson Grantham. I'm a licensed real estate agent in Iowa, working for Keller Williams. We will help you just navigate the home buying process, home selling process throughout the Des Moines Metro.